Now, of that 48.8 million people living in food insecure households, 16.2 million children um, are in America are at risk for hunger. Um, so, let's say you're a teacher um, and you have, and I know this is a low estimate, but let's say you have 20 kids in your class. That means one out of five students in your class is potentially hungry. And, and that, to me, is another startling statistic um, that I'm sure you know, you're know you probably all too familiar with. Um, so just you know, a quick show of hands, how many of you think you have hungry kids in your classroom? Yeah, and if, if that doesn't say it there, I mean, I think this is an issue that um, more than anyone, teachers and educators, come into um, on a daily basis and sort of know all of this data that we have um, here. So just going through some of this quickly with you, um, hunger is of course more common in households of single parents. It's also more common in households of African American and Hispanic households. You, you saw that there was a tremendous need that wasn't being met uh, with the number of students participating in the National School Lunch Program and then less than third of those students participating in the school breakfast program. Uh, so even though they qualify for free and reduced price breakfast, they are not partaking in it for a variety of reasons.